Hello and welcome to this MGO2 unofficial release installation tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is click the link in the description in regards to the registration process. Once you have opened the link, you should be greeted with this screen. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see this better. This field here is your username. This is a completely optional field, complete it if you like. This is an email, this is a password obviously, and then submit once you've completed to a satisfactory standard. I've already completed this step, therefore I'll be skipping it. Next step is to download the mgo2tutorial.rar compressed file. Once downloaded, I want you to right click and press extract here. For the video's convenience, I've already extracted this and you can see it here. This is what you should be greeted with once the compressed folder is extracted. Please double click this file. Here you will find the, the game Metal Gear Online, the emulator and PS3 update firmware. Please try to, to remember this as this tutorial goes on. I'm now going to click Rev3 emulator. Next thing is to find the application, aka the executable file for RPCS3. Now you'll be greeted with a different screen to my own. My screen has already been slightly configured, however, I'm going to act as if this is a fresh installation and the steps will be the same for yourselves as a result. Please click File and Install Firmware. Once that step's complete, please find the folder you extracted, which mine's already pre-configured here for convenience, and um, double click the ps 3 updatepup file. That will now install the firmware, which may take a while or it may not for yourselves, depending on your PC. That's installed straight away in my case. Please now click File, Boot Game, and find Metal Gear Online Game, which as you can see, it's in my extracted um, folder from earlier. And don't double click into this. You're, gonna you're just gonna highlight this and then press Select Folder. Once complete, your game will load. You can see I'm going through the process of loading my game in. I may skip this video for viewing convenience. Please close the game once it's open, as we are going to make a custom configuration to ensure that it runs correctly. Now, the first step is, unfortunately, when I uploaded this file, I made a boo-boo. If you're using X input, please note that L1 and L2 have been switched. As this is my personal preferred configuration, please change how you see fit. Moving on, I'm now going to move on to the um, configuration of the game as a controller configuration, maybe in a future tutorial. So you're going to want to right click the game and press create custom configuration. So in CPU, you're going to click Mega. Everything else should be the same as what is on the screen at present. Next step is to click GPU. In the GPU section, I like to have frame limit off as this can only hinder performance. I have anti-aliasing disabled. I have default resolution as 720. Please don't change this as it highly affects performance. If you want to upgrade your um, resolution in any way, I recommend putting this to 200%, although it depends on your GPU and you should consider that in the process. Um, the rest I leave how it is now. However, that being said, you may want to tick multi-threaded RSX. It is up to you. I have found that this does not help me and in fact hinder performance. Then go to audio and amend as you see fit. I'll keep it the same as the settings are already quite nice. Please note that microphones don't work. However, I like to select my microphone anyway. The next step is to just go through here. Please don't change any of these unless you're using keyboard and mouse. However, this is not a keyboard and mouse tutorial and I think this is the wrong way around about it. However, I'm not sure. Go to system. This is what your setting should look like. Network should look like this. I'll provide a description for DNS and IP, IP host slash switches. Advanced section. 
ensure that this is selected as this ensures that you'll get less crashes when running the program. Please change this to all timers and number of spurs threads. Please change to free. Please note that um, unlimited runs the same for me. However, a lot of people report to better performance with free. Um, moving on, I like to have driver wake up delay at 200. Um, Anywhere between 100 to 200 should be fine. However, I recommend 200 as this has always worked for myself. You can squeeze extra FPS if your computer can handle it by raising this. I squeeze it to 300. Anything else I find has a very high diminishing returns. In fact, I'd say from 300 to the very maximum, you only get to 1 to 2 FPS. Therefore, I keep this at 300. Again, it depends on your PC. Please consider that when selecting this option. Now the next settings are in emulator. Let me see if these are the same. Da, 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 da. Make sure you use all your threads on this page. Um, everything else looks correct. Please then press apply, save custom configuration. There is one last issue to, do, um, to report, um, but now you can run the game at this stage. Please ensure your control is plugged in and you're ready to go as now you can play Metal Gear Online. I'm going to skip this part of the video for viewer convenience. Welcome to Metal Gear Online 2 unofficial PC release. Please X off any errors that you may see. You may notice that you log in as me or you go to the login screen. If you log in as me, feel free to stay and impersonate me, that is fine. However, if you want to log in with your own account, please back out and enter your game ID and log in. Now you have MGO fully set up. Um, anything I've missed, I will leave in the description of the video and comment section. Any questions, please comment. You can find me on Discord as per the bottom of the screen. Um, that concludes this installation tutorial. Goodbye and see you guys next time.